Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Reviewcade. I am Nick alongside the most gorgeous pack of stra- strawberry fun dip ever. Yeah, it's me, Andrew. <laughs> I'm a pack of fun dip. Mm. And we're playing Crystal Castles as we each have one game left, and this is my game. Um, and this is pretty much like, I mean, Pac-Man was on Atari. It's 3D Pac-Man. But it's different. Um, so you have to go around getting gems and you're this giant bear, which is pretty cool. Uh, shit. Oh. Oh, that's right. But in this case, they unlike, can get the gems. Yeah, they can get the gems, too. So it's kind of like who can... These trees move, I believe. Yep. Oh, God. By the way, before the episode, uh, before we start recording, Andrew... Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Andrew and I, um... Don't get distracted now. You gotta get your gems. You're a greedy little bear man. I know. <laughs> it's it. This is one of those things... Okay, so you know how... Oh, you better get your pot of honey up there. <laughs> this Okay, real quick. You know how, like, when you were playing, um... Super break, super breakout, mm. you're like, oh, well, the stick moves the, the slider really, really fast. And yeah. then... If you use the, this one, like... It's actually using the D-pad and using the slider. I mean, the slider, of course, you see how fast he's going. Yeah. But the D-pad's actually kind of the same in a sense. It's a little bit slower, but not drastically. Um, this is one of those games where, like, even though we're playing on PlayStation, even though we're playing with a D-pad, I really do wish I had a, a joystick that mm-hmm. I could use because I feel like this game would be amazing with a joystick. Um, God damn it. I can't. You have to get up on that, like, little... Yeah, it's a pain oh, the it. it doesn't have the it, it's like hard to get on it. There we go. Oh, Shit. killed by a fart cloud, a skeleton oh, fart I think, cloud. I think those were might have been bees, maybe. I'm not sure. The bees, not the birds. <laughs> but uh, as I was uh, before, I went on this little tangent. Uh, Andrew and I were listening to probably some of the best '80s. Remixes Remix. of all time. Yeah, there, there was, oh, it was so good, which makes me wonder, like, man, imagine if, like, certain artists were, like, certain musicians came out at, at, at like, the 80s, like, I mean, yeah. now we can we can imagine because people make those remixes on YouTube and stuff like that, but, God, can you imagine being in the 80s and, like, Doja Cat came out, or, like, being in the 80s and, like, My Chemical Romance was a thing? Like, I, I think that the best, the, like, most... Uh, like the most successful artist yeah. present day that would like massively succeed, uh-huh. uh huh. In the eighties, would be Justin Timberlake. Yeah, like like if we're talking heartthrob, because like there Michael were so Jackson, many heartthrobs yeah. Oh, yeah. of that time yeah. oh, of God, that time yeah. period. Oh yeah. So imagine Justin Timberlake. At like his at his like height, okay, in like so the we're early two ta- thousands. We're, yeah, we're so talking we're, future. Fu- was it like future noise love sounds or something like that when he released that album? Yeah, when he's like, I'm bringing sexy back. Yes. Yeah. Imagine that Timberlake. Yeah. Yeah. Whew! <sighs> Imagine just early two thousands, like Backstreet Boys, man, Millennium era. <sighs> oh God, that that is just. That's the thing, man. Boy bands would. I think, th- I mean, they did kind of have some boy bands, I guess, in the 80s, but they would, th- I mean, they would thrive, I think, in, like, any era. I mean, really, they ha- actually kind of have. Think about, like, Jackson 5 and, um, you know, Backstreet Boys and Sing, 98 Degrees, uh, you know, uh, New Edition. New Edition? Yeah. I've never heard of New Edition. You've never heard of New Edition? Did I slip into an uh, into You've a, never a, heard... a alternate universe? I've never heard of New Edition. You've never heard Mr. Telephone Man? No. Oh. Oh, buddy, we have to we have to we have to, to introduce you to that probably tonight. What? But, yeah, dude, cause they they have some really good dude. They're classics. Uh, like Bobby Brown was in the group. Like how how? What? Yeah. It was like teenage Bobby, it was like Bobby Brown and like a bunch of other guys when they were like teenagers. They were in the 80s, I believe. Like Mr. Telephone Man is probably their biggest hit. Um, Can You Stand the Rain? Actually, no, If It Isn't Love was another great one. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I feel like you like came from an alternate universe that I've, I've 
literally have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> like, dude. Not even a clue what New Edition is. Oh, my God. <laughs> new Edition. New Edition, man. We'll, I'll have to introduce you to them after we're done recording. Because they are... Dude, when you listen to them, it's like... You know, a little bit of like R&B kind of... You know, it's just upbeat stuff. I mean, they have some like very slow songs too, but like gotta get that last gym, boy. I know, or the but, grapes are gonna eat it. Yeah, um, but no, it's just it, God. I can't believe you never heard of them. Where are some other people? I have you heard of a guy, or I should say a, a band named Kiss? Oh no, Nick! I've never heard of Kiss. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> You know, Role I, Models is one of my favorite movies of I, all time. I, I know. It would be a sin for me to, like, not know what Kiss is. <laughs> uh, all their songs are you know, about but you, know what, you know, But you know what? Um, I was actually really pleased to find out about you is when we were listening to the blues and we were just vibing. And mm-hmm. it was just... When I found out you loved the blues, I'm like... Oh, man. Oh, dude. There, there is... It is... As I as I said uh, when we were listening to it, it is I th- I think the blues are a standard by which you can like if somebody likes the blues, you yeah. can you know that that person has like I think that the blues is is the is a standard for like whether or not people have yeah. good taste in music. Oh plain yeah. And simple. Oh yeah. Well, because the blues inspired a lot. You know, like it, it inspired a lot of genres of music. Um, you know, I was listening to some somebody waters the other day, and I'm just like, God, it just it just takes you back, and it just it really has a, a power about it that just really just pull, <laughs> just bless you, thank just, you, just pulls you in, and because I mean, as a kid, my parents, I think I said this on the show before, my parents, a lo- reason why I love blues and why blues are probably or actually is my favorite genre of music is because my parents from an early age took me to a lot of blues festivals when I was a kid. Oh, excuse me, Jesus. Wow. A little dusty in here. Yeah. Um, and they would take me to a lot of blues festivals. And in Syracuse, where I grew up, they would have every year um, the blues festival, the jazz festival. Uh, Jesus, these fucking bees. I like that he swears when he dies. Yeah. That, like, it's very clear that he's like... Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! God damn! Swarm of, 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 of fucking shit! <laughs> it's like Winnie the Pooh after dark. It's like, oh, un- oh un- bother. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh God damn it. I'm out. fucking fighting the goddamn grape, grape, spinny <laughs> grape bitches. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, my parents came to those blues and jazz festivals, and, um... God, they really do trap you in this game. Um, <laughs> fuckers. Uh, you, the only time you're allowed to swear now in the in, in is when the I get stung by the bees. No, no, no. In, or when in, I die in the crystal in the crystal castles, um, you have to you have to swear like Winnie the Pooh. Okay, that's, that's the rule now. Okay, so okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really interesting. Oh shit! Oh, moth! Oh, you. Your, oh. your fucking uncle's taint. Oh, you son, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I swear to God, when I get my honey, and these heffalum motherfuckers just want to step on my block. This is my fucking territory, rabbit. Ooh. When they when they rotate, it actually shows that they have faces. I know. it's That's the thing. This is an old-ass game, but this is a game that was like, I'm kind of surprised at some of the detail they have in this. God, now I'm just... I want, like, Scarface Winnie the Pooh now. You think you can fuck with me? I'm Winnie the Pooh. There are only two things I have in this world. My balls <laughs> and my and honey. My word. <laughs> and I don't break them for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, oh! You got molested in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Andrew. Yeah. But I did rank 191st that game. That so. is, congratulations. <laughs> I know. This is I, this is a game where like I know I've died a lot, but this is a game where really, um, in terms of, fuck, 
This is a game where really, in terms of... You didn't say it and you're winning the pool, boys! <laughs> fuck! Oh, fuck! This, this is a game where literally the controls... Again, like, when I say you need a joystick for this, like, you literally need a joystick because... Using the D-pad, yes, he runs in a slower form, but he's still, as you can see, very, very fast. But, like, just the slightest bend and push of a D-pad in a certain uh, diagonal angle, and he just, like just barrels into an enemy and it's like son of a bitch he barrels into an enemy yes he barrels get it he barrels cause he's a he's a bear I I yeah I don't know if I can really get past this fucking level <laughs> I, I did but like god damn it's that dancing skeleton, man. He's just having a grand old time. Well, he's not really the problem. I got around him the other time. It's it's these guys on the outside, and they have to go around them. And also, like you can see inside, it's like my body is red. It, but their their um their mouth is is their anus, by the way. Oh, oh there's shit. a poop cloud. Careful for poop for for super poop cloud. It's the fucking bees. Oh shit! Um, I'm fucking cornered. Oh shit! Oh you! <laughs> oh you sons of oh, bitches! You sons of bitches! <laughs> oh. Come on, go! Oh shit! Huh? Yeah, come up to my lair, huh, Winnie? Hmm. Huh? Ah, no! Ah. See, that's what I mean by the fucking controls. Like they're so loose. <laughs> Oh, I think that's the one thing that we've we have complained about more than anything. Is that the controls are absolute shit? Are, it's so hard to to play these games without doing it in the original arcade. Because in the original arcade, man, I could oh Pac Man, yeah, dude, Pac Man walk in the arcade. These games. Oh, dude, remember we what was it your birthday uh, this year? Actually, we Last back in. Year. Oh, well, last year, yeah, back in August. I haven't aged another year yet, Nick. Uh, I mean, we are. I don't know how long into this this thing. How many years has it been? Um, yeah. So, but no, we were we were us and a couple of our friends were at the arcade for your birthday, and we were just playing Pac Man, and they were amazed with how we were kicking so much ass. Well, we got it. we got so fucking far in that. I know. The, the thing is, is because we were playing it with the controls that, was that were originally intended, intended yes. to be used. Yes. Which I'm actually kind of surprised that... And I know... I mean, well... Yeah, because, I mean, Dreamcast had one where, like, they had... Like, I remember because I had one. It was a giant, like, arcade thing that just literally... It was probably the size of my laptop. And it had... The, the, it had uh, like six buttons, basically like an arcade layout. Like when you go play Tekken and stuff like that, it was that kind of layout. Um, and it, 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 I'm like, I'm kind of shocked that nobody's really released. I mean, I know games have been more like since then have been, are more like you know, you can't play Spider Man that with that kind of controller. But like, you know, maybe for ten, twenty bucks, release a controller that you can play atari games and why why am i what does this wizard hat even mean does it mean invincibility i guess or it what? allows you to kill them for like a short period of wait, time wait i could have fucking jumped this whole fucking time <laughs> are you fucking shitting me <laughs> what the fuck I mean, I know it's on me because, like, I'm like, oh, I haven't really pressed any other buttons or tried to or made an attempt, but goddamn, it went nice. Ah, oh. come on, come on, come on. Wee, woo. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, I died. Bother. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hell on The her. secret to, to, to Crystal Fuck! <laughs> it's that you can jump tiles. Oh, my God. Game over. Look at these names. PDM. Ah. Steven. Well, the, all the odds are well, all the triple A's are me because I just not bother to put my initials in the game. Who's PDM? Hmm. Who's who's Puddin? Puddin. It's Puddin. Puddin base. Dar. And <laughs> well, look at number two hundred four. What is that? What is that? <laughs> 
What? I didn't see it. It said CLT. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so Magic Hat gives you... Oh, so it'll make you invincible. Where you can kill Berthilda, catch them, catch gem eaters when they're eating, stay away from their moving gem to gem, take too much time. Oh, so the swarm comes down. Jesus. Jump over trees to stun them. Well, now I know why I can jump. Are there any other mysteries that we need to know, Crystal Castles? I don't know, but I will say this is probably gonna be the last. This is gonna be the last run through, because now that now that I've like actually took the time to read <laughs> the <laughs> things that were presented to you this entire time, every time at every game over, and I'm eating the gems, it just gets rid of the. I lose the bonus. They eat all the gems or the last gem. Oh wow, he's got some jumps. He's on him. he's got some he's got some serious bear hops. Yeah, dude, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, they they are giving an accurate representation of bears because bears can move very fast in real life. So, I mean, yeah, it, God, this is the first time a game has been so anatomically accurate with a bear, with a bear. I thought it was going to be three trees. No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm trying to get ah uh, yeah. <laughs> Take that tree wave level one. Oh man. The Dooms Dome Dun 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 uh, Alright, so it, so with the hat I can attack them while they're eating. Yeah, but it's said that you can uh, that you can hit them while they're eating. Well it's with the with the hat, I believe. Okay. Oh they're not eating, that's why it's done. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow the hat really does not last that long. It lasts like three yeah. seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not like a star. <laughs> no. In Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. Oh. I'm just dancing over here, Mr. Bear. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, ah, you got the last gem. Curses. Curses, <laughs> Pooh Bear. <laughs> and now, the real challenge. Dun 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 I'm sure the music isn't as epic. But, no, it's, you know. it's not. I've played with the sound. It's not really. <laughs> not even really that majestic. It's just very simple. That's that's my guess. I don't. I you know. Yeah. In order to kill the witch, you have to have the wizard hat. I'm gonna kill the witch lat. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Boom! You stomped her. Oh. Oh, I need the platform. Oh, I need that honey. Give me the honey, child. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> well. It was a hell of a try. It was very close. 30th! Hell yeah! Okay, I'm actually going to put my initials in this one. Now everybody is going to know your initials, Nick. I mean, my initials are at the They're going appear. to find out where we live. No. <laughs> Nicholas Arrow. <laughs> Bataglia. Bataglia. N B. NBC. Yes, NBC. The... National Broadcasting Channel. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to do it for this episode of Review Cave. We'll be back with Andrew's final Atari game. Yar. Stay tuned. Bye.